everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this is Course Life. So today on this channel, we're gonna be starting a new series called Tea Time. So during Tea Time, we're gonna be talking about different topics. Um, so if there's a particular topic that you wanna discuss, you can comment down below and we'll include it in the next video. So I have made some Indian masala chai and I have some ginger cookies here. So if you want, you can go ahead and pause the video and get some tea. This will be a little bit of a longer video. Okay, so in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the whole coronavirus situation going on and the lockdown placed um, in many different countries around the world. So I currently live in the United States. Uh, I was previously in San Francisco and now I'm in Arizona. So in San Francisco, um, I go to school there. So there was a shelter in place placed on March 17th. So basically uh, we got known that March 16th, um, the day before at around like 2, 3 p.m. that there is going to be a shelter in place effective at midnight. So basically what that meant is that we're not allowed to go inside and outside unless it's for essential stuff. So if you need to get groceries and all, but other than that, um, they don't want you to be traveling uh, anywhere outside the city or coming into the city. So. Uh, this would be effective for three weeks until April 7th. So I live there alone. Um, my whole family is in Arizona, except for my sister, who is in Northern California, about two hours away from me driving distance. So uh, instead of just staying there alone for three weeks, that same moment, I ended up deciding that I am gonna come back to um, my home in Arizona so I can be close to my family. So that same day, I ended up coming here to Arizona and have been here since then. So um, I'm just hoping that everyone is staying safe, staying inside and taking it seriously. With the whole pandemic going on, it really is spreading at such, such a fast rate. Um, and everything that they're saying about social distancing, it truly is something that needs to be taken seriously you do not want to be uh going near people and like to stay as far away as you can to prevent that uh contact and that spread of the, the virus because the coronavirus does spread through um touch and aerosols and everything so it's just something that we need to take into account and do our part um as a community to make sure that we can help control that as much as we can. So um, basically the current situation is so as of right now, the amount of cases in the United States has increased exponentially. We are at around a little bit above 140,000 the last time I checked. And um, there's this curve that they all talk about and we still haven't reached the peak of the curve, which is a scary part because once you reach the peak of the curve, that's when it starts to level out and you'll start to see a decrease in the number of cases. So we as citizens and as people who are staying in the United States are trying our best to um, decrease our contact and leaving the house unless it's truly for essential stuff. So I just want to check in to see how everyone is doing. I hope. I know that in a lot of countries, um, this is truly impacting everyone actually. So in every, in a lot of the countries, there are lockdowns or there are um, shelters in place. And if you're in a country in which they don't regulate that very strictly, please just understand how the virus um, spreads and how it is important for us to do our part to prevent that. This is a great website to see the current COVID-19 pandemic situation going on. It outlines the total cases and the amount of recovered people. And it also shows based on different countries, how many current cases there are. So right here is the cases for United States. And then as you go down, you can see that graph that I was telling about previously. 
I will go ahead and link this website down below in case you want to take a look. This graph shows the importance of flattening the curve. So if you look, you can see that if you don't take any precautions, then the number of infected patients are a lot higher. And then if you take precautions such as social distancing and keeping good hand hygiene, we can flatten that curve and make sure that we don't exceed the capacity that our healthcare facilities can uh, accommodate. If you guys are interested, I can do a video in which we, uh, in which I tell different stuff that you can do during this lockdown in place or during the um, during this time just to pass your time. So let me know, comment down below. Um, I would love to share what I have been doing. Uh, since I am currently still in school, a lot of my classes have been converted to online classes. So I do have some courses that I am working on. But other than that, there are a lot of stuff that I've been doing to pass my time and just spending time with my family and uh, just trying to do my part by staying inside. So please, please, please everyone do your part and try your best um, so that we can control this uh, the virus spreading and decrease the effect of this um, COVID-19. And for all of the people who are um, in a field in which they cannot stop working, whether it be uh, if you're in the healthcare field or if you're managing businesses, uh, just try to do your part by making sure that you keep up with your hand hygiene, um, effectively wash your hands, uh, use hand sanitizers, and just make sure that you can do whatever it is you can do. And if you are uh, one of the frontline workers uh, working on COVID-19 patients, just know that we all are very, very appreciative of everything you're doing. And we know that it is a tough time um, to be in the healthcare field, but there's so much uh, appreciation by all of us for you. Thank you so much for watching um, and don't forget to comment, subscribe and like this video.